Hello Trader welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am sharing how to find high profitable channel pattern chart pattern using price actions strategy. And I will reveal how to day trade zones in multiple market scenarios like stock, forex, and crypto market. Channel pattern is a form of chart pattern. Channel pattern is formed by drawing two parallel lines. There are two types of channel pattern. Bullish continuation channel pattern indicates continuation of bullish trend, means the trend of bullish is going on and it will continue further. Bearish continuation channel pattern indicates continuation of bearish trend, means the trend of bearish is going on and it will continue further. First of all how the bullish continuation pennant pattern is formed. Looking at the chart, there is a bullish trend going on in the market. In a bullish continuation channel pattern it is important that the initial trend is uptrend. After that, the price starts coming down by forming resistance but to maintain the bullish trend forms a support nearby and starts moving back up, thus becoming the first resistance and first support in the chart. After that the price starts moving the up, going up creates another resistance. The second resistance should be lower than the first resistance this is necessary and the price starts to drop once again and a second support is formed but this second support should be lower than the first support, this is very important. Now two lower resistances and two lower supports have been formed, so now we have to draw a trend line touching the high of both the resistance, this trend line is also called main trend line with this pattern, after this we have to draw another trend line touching the low of both the supports. This trend line is also called channel line with this pattern. In a bullish continuation channel pattern it is necessary to form at least two resistances and two supports. If you draw both the trend line, keep in mind that both the trend lines should be parallel to each other. After this, if the price breaks the resistance line and moves above it, then this pattern is completed. And bearish trend resume. When there is a breakout in the pattern, the volume also starts increasing. So this is how the bullish continuation channel pattern is formed. Looking at the chart, there is a bearish trend going on in the market. In a bearish continuation channel pattern it is important that the initial trend is downtrend. After that, the price starts coming down by forming support but to maintain the bearish trend forms the resistance nearby and starts moving back down, thus becoming the first resistance and first support in the chart. After that the price starts going down. Going down creates the second support. The second support should be higher than the first support. This is necessary and the price starts moving up again and creates another resistance. But this second resistance should be higher than the first support. This is very important. Now two lower resistances and two lower supports have been formed. So now we have to draw a trend line that touches the high of both the resistances. This trend line is also called a channel line trend line with this pattern. After this we have to draw another trend line touching the low of both the supports. This trend line is also called main trend line with this pattern. In a bearish continuation channel pattern it is necessary to form at least two resistances and two supports. If you draw both the trend line, keep in mind that both the trend lines should be parallel to each other. After this, if the price breaks the support line and moves below it, then this pattern is completed. And bearish trend resume. When there is a breakout in the pattern, the volume also starts increasing. So this is how the bearish continuation chart pattern is formed. Time frame is not important with chart pattern, it is made in every time frame, it also works in every time frame. First of all we understand how do we buy with bullish continuation channel pattern. If you are seeing the formation of bullish chart pattern in the chart then you have to first draw the trend line by touching the low of both the support during the consolidation period and then draw the second trend line touching the high of both the resistance. Now we have to see this to buy. When a candle closes above the resistance line after completion of the bullish channel pattern then we have to buy in the subsequent candle. The closing is given above the resistance line immediately after the buy, to put a stop loss below its low. Meanwhile, 
before taking a trade. It is very important to keep one more thing in mind that the difference between your buy point to the stop loss point should be according to the 2% rule of risk reward ratio, only then you have to take the trade. So in this way we can buy from bullish continuation channel pattern. First of all we understand how do we sell with bearish continuation channel pattern. If you are seeing the formation of bearish channel in a chart then you have to first draw the trend line by touching the low of both the support during the consolidation period and then draw the second trend line touching the high of both the resistance. Now we have to see this to sell. When a candle closes below the support line after completion of the bearish channel pattern, then we have to sell in the subsequent candle. The closing is given below the support line immediately after the sell to put a stop loss above its high. Meanwhile, before taking a trade, it is very important to keep one more thing in mind that the difference between your buy point to the stop loss point should be according to the 2% rule of risk reward ratio, only then you have to take the trade. So in this way we can sell from bearish continuation channel pattern. I hope you like this strategy. Please like share comment and don't forget subscribe my channel thanks for watching.